you may have noticed I've had an ongoing non-stop 24-7 live stream. This is four hours of non-stop video on rolling repeats without me having to turn on my own computer. I don't know how to turn on a computer. I wanted to create a place where people could hop on, watch a live stream and learn things in their own time or listen to it in the background. And now I'm gonna show you how I do it. I use a service called Gaia. They're not sponsoring this. I just happen to have stumbled across them. I even pronouncing them wrong. They are a streaming hosting service. They offer a free trial, but I'm using their starter package. Once you sign up, the way it works is you upload a video file. You make sure that it's as compressed as possible. They even give you guidance when uploading, what kind of bit rate you're looking for, file size you're looking for, dimensions, that kind of thing. I'm streaming at kind of HD. Mine's not 1080, I'm using the 720. The reason for this is I wanted to make it reliable. Some of you have already noticed that it buffered when it was my first test. I've nailed it now. And I'm sure it would work at 1080p as well. Anyway, Alan, rambling. Sorry, I'm rambling. You upload the file and then you set up the stream and you need two very important things. One, your stream ID, in which if you go to YouTube, click go live, choose that you're going live later, it will dump you into this which is your live dashboard. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll see three pieces of information, the digest, the second digest, and the blurred out key. You copy that and you go to Gaia. You set up a new stream. You go to live streams, add stream. You title your stream, whatever you want. This is the title that you see in the Gaia admin area. It has nothing to do with the public. Group is solely if you want to test multiple different types. I leave mine no group. Pick your platform. You could do this to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Vimeo, stream key. This is where it's important. And paste it in there and then stream ID. Go back to the live stream. Copy the URL at the top and then paste it in here. You'll notice it strips out all of the info and only leaves the video ID. This is important. Not the whole link, just the video ID. Now in Gaia, you choose the video file that you wish to stream. I've got three here and you click save. You'll now be able to pick between the streams that you're wishing to do. You can see here that I've got two for my meditation channel, which there's a link in the description down below. That's kind of a, a hidden little gem. And you'll see I have one currently streaming, but for me to start one of the streams, I simply click the play button and then I flick back to my YouTube page where it's streaming and I wait for the data to arrive. And then, there you go, it's now streaming. You can edit the thumbnail, the description and the title of the video on YouTube by going to edit. You fill these in, you can change the thumbnail at any point, you can change the title, the descriptions, that kind of thing, and then you click save. And then, ta-da, you're, you're now live streaming non-stop. You can sit in the chat, and chat, but if it's a non-stop 24 seven live stream, sometimes that can be hard. And yes, these hours do count towards your live streaming count and watch time. That of course, if you're looking to monetize your YouTube videos and that's how you can do it right here. Check out that video, you won't be.